Hi guys, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, I'm Felicia. I would love for you to subscribe and be part of the notification gang. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell so you never miss out on an upload. So I meant to get this video up before the first of the year. And obviously, as you can see, that did not happen, but I still feel like it's noteworthy. And I just wanna share with you all some of the products that I discovered in 2018 and I was pretty impressed with them. So they're definitely products that I will be carrying over into this new year and also repurchasing. As a matter of fact, I think everything I have, I have already repurchased with the exception of maybe one thing because one or two things just because I haven't used it up yet. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this discovery sharing. So let's go ahead and get started. And the items that I'm gonna talk about, there are in no particular order, so it's just random. All right, so one product that I have is the Myel Organics Babusa Oil Mint Deep Conditioner. This is so good. It smells good, it smells minty. Um, this is just a great balance to me for protein and moisture and yeah so I really like it because it's you can see the bottom I mean this is not a super thick uh, deep conditioner by any means like a mask but of course it doesn't claim to be a mask it's you know it's a it doesn't claim to be a mask it's a deep conditioner but even as a deep condition it's not this is probably the thinnest, well, one of the thinnest um, that I've used as far as consistency goes. However, uh, don't get that twisted at all because, like I said, I could detangle with this. My hair feels so soft after I finish deep conditioning with it. It smells good, and it's also very uh, moisturizing. I can feel the moisture. All right, so the next item is something that I don't have. I ran out of it. And it is also by the brand, the uh, Myel Organics, and it is the Mangangu Oil Exfoliating Shampoo. And it feels like, it almost feels like a little mini spa as well. It's sulfate free. For it to be an exfoliating shampoo, it does add moisture as it says that it's supposed to do. So my hair is, at least my hair feeling very soft. It's not stripped, it's not strawy. It just, it feels clean and soft at the same time. All right, so the next product I have is by Shea Moisture, um, which that should be no surprise. If any of you guys been following me for quite a bit of time, you know I, that's one of my OGs, Ride or Die brands. Um, but last year they did come out with the Sugar Cane Astrag and Metal Foam C Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment with Marshmallow Roots. And this says that it is for all hair types. Um, so, and I've already repurchased a new one and this is the full size this is eight fluid ounces so what I love about this leave-in is one the fact that I can detangle with it it's moisturizing and it has marshmallow root so for me my hair loves marshmallow root any type of leave-in that has marshmallow root I already know off the top that is gonna be slippery, it's gonna be able to detangle my hair, and I'm also gonna have moisture. So this does all of that. And so far I can also say that with this leave-in, whatever styler that I use, which I've used like different stylers, it may be Shea Moisture, maybe some other brand, I haven't had an issue um, with that particular leave-in, you know, clumping or not working well with, with other stylers. So. Just want to let you know that all right so next up i have is the african pride moisture miracle aloe and coconut water is the detangling condition pre shampoo so um as many of you know i've already raved about this um like in my last couple of videos that this this is the um yeah it's the bomb.com so before, like I said, in a previous video, I started using this after I took down some box braids to detangle and everything. But even after that, every time I wash my hair now, I reach for this product, even if I don't really need to, 
but I know that my hair is just going to be super moisturized. I just work it through. I let it sit on my hair. I put a plastic bag on it. Um, so I don't even have to use like a wide tooth comb when I'm doing this. I just finger detangle, put my hair in four sections, plastic bag, 30 minutes or whatever I'm doing, and then go rinse it out. And it leaves my hair super moisturized. And whatever shampoo I'm using, to me, it enhances that shampoo as well. So you have the aloe vera, which is going to nourish, condition, and also protect your hair from breakage. And then the coconut water helps strengthen hair and restores the moisture. So I failed to mention this particular item while I was recording, and this list would not be complete if I did not mention the As I Am Long and Lux Grow Wash Cleansing Cream Conditioner. This is a co-wash, and I absolutely love this co-wash. If you felt like the coconut co-wash really didn't work that well for you, then I would highly recommend trying the Long and Lux Grow Wash. I know my sister wasn't a big fan of the coconut co-wash. Her curls are a lot more tighter than mine. Her hair is a lot more coily. Um, but she used the Long and Lux and she really liked it. It worked a lot better than the coconut co-wash. The next two products also I use together. They work great together. They're in the same line. And it is the Jane Carter Solution Curls to Go. Uh, I use the Untangle Me Weightless Leave-In, which has mango butter, slippery amp, and also marshmallow root, one of my favorite, which I already just told you, ingredients. And then we have the Coiling All Curls Elongating Gel. And this product elongates curls, controls frizz, and also reduces shrinkage. And this is with nettle, aloe vera, and also coconut oil. So, these products are also targeted for curly and coily hair. So, I use these two products during the summer for wash and go. And by far, I would say these two products was the most, one, slippery, um, as far as slip goes. Both the, the weightless leave-in. Um, it had a lot of slip, but of course I would expect it because it has marshmallow root and slippery elm. So as far as detangling, detangling was a breeze. It was moisturizing. And then when I went in with the gel, the gel was even more um, moisturizing. Like it, it was just a slippery slope on my hair. That That's really the best way that I can describe it. Um, it was only these two products that I used. Uh, I will put the link to that video in the description too if you guys want to check that out because I don't remember if I air dried or diffused more than likely it's the summer. I probably air dried. But it was the most defined wash and go. And it was moisturized. I was like, what? But yeah, it, it was really awesome. Um, so I would highly recommend it. These are not two products I would probably grab for the winter time just because it's colder and it has less humidity and moisture in the air. But when it warms back up as far as wash and go, these two are uh, definitely my, my go-tos for those wash and goes. Okay, the last product is more of, um, it's not a style or a leave-in. It is the Mofang Yang, yeah, I probably butchered it. But it's the Mofang Yang hair coloring material. And it, this is the hair paint wax um, that I, and I forgot it smells good. It has like this fresh scent to it, but it does smell really good. And I um, also did a review and a video on this product as well. So this here you apply to wet hair and then you let it air dry. And all I can say is that I love this stuff. Um, it didn't leave my hair crunchy. It didn't leave it hard. Um, it was soft. My hair felt the same as if I did not have it in my hair. So there was no difference. There was still curl definition. And for it to be, it's very pigmented. So you can definitely build it up. I think I, I did purple and then I also put like blue on the end too to kind of give it like a gradient effect. Um, but it was really nice. I got so many compliments on this and my sister because I did her hair like in another blend of colors. But it was so many compliments. I even went to her hair show and I got compliments. People want to know, who did your hair? And it's like, 
I did you know it, it's just a color wax um, so like I said once it was completely dry I didn't have any transfer issues it didn't stain my clothes it didn't do anything the only time that I noticed that it did come off a little bit if I were to go in like with my edge control you know to put some like around my edges or whatever then I will notice a little color that may come off there but outside of that there was no problem with color transfer it washed out completely seamlessly you know just go in regular shampoo water and it rinsed out so uh, I would highly recommend it I know there's some other brands flowing around I cannot attest to it if they perform the same or not but for this particular brand here yes I would highly recommend it and it's just a nice change up when you don't want to commit to color or just you know for a fun event or whatever or all right, so those are the products that stood out for me in 2018. Let me know, were there any products that stood out for you last year that you're going to bring over into this new year and continue to use and repurchase if you haven't already? And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.